So rewriting for a specific purpose. I, um, I really laughed when I did this memory match with kids because um, they look at me and go, oh, come on, come on, Simon. That's something we did, you know, we we're in kindergarten or year one. But I had this um, senior student do it for her biology test recently and she <laughs> was playing with the whole family <laughs> and they're all learning about the, the definitions. And anyway, so that, that, well, that was a lot of fun. At university, when I was doing my PhD, we did taboo with the vocabulary words, right? Oh, I kind of. You know, that yeah. game where you, where you have the, the term or the concept and things that you're not allowed to say about it, and you have to get people to guess what you're talking about. Oh, that's a ripper. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to have to write that one down. <laughs> yeah. So, for example, if you had a concept like life cycle, well, mm -hmm. you're not allowed to talk about wheels or circles or living and you have to get them to try and describe the concept. So it really helps them consolidate and really cement in their knowledge about that concept. Mm, mm. Right. And you can even rehearse ways that you can talk about that concept because it makes them internalize the information. And it's not just them regurgitating what they've learned. They actually have to make a big, concept of it and they're tying in the information oh look i love that i really do i know that some kids um another point down there is relying on others to help you to be accountable they like the idea of going to a study group or to a library and getting a room if that's still an option at libraries um but often when they get there they're not too sure about how to structure the group but to mm -hmm. say you're going to play taboo mm -hmm. fantastic i reckon that'd be good yeah well that's a ripper Mm. Or even, um, what is it, Balderdash? The one where you get part of, like, the sentence starter and then you have to finish it. Oh, I don't think that's and then you, um, I, like I have a game called Wise or Otherwise, but it, it's also, like, Balderdash. Or it's something where you get a definition and you have to finish it or, like, a common phrase. Mm. And so you could have it to do with something that happened, like, in – I. I know North American history, not Australian. So, um, oh, look, I like think the War of 1812 or something. Yeah. And then everybody has to write a, write a sentence about it, right? And then you have to guess who wrote what. Oh, wow. So th these, are, these are good things. And I think the underlying thing, especially with our kids who are finding it really hard to get motivated, uh, is that you're making it fun. You're making it creative. So they're willing to engage in it because of the method of presentation, the method of study, and the content's almost arbitrary, but handy mm -hmm. as well. But, oh, I love all those adaptions. They're great ideas.